Hi guys, welcome back. So um, my name is Mina and on this channel we do art stuff. So today I wanted to play around with some of these, um, with these Sennelier oil, Sennelier oil pastels. I've never played with these, I've not tried them yet since I did the unboxing and I just wanted to have a little play around with them and see how they, see how they work. I actually just laid them out on uh, this is just some um, watercolour paper. This isn't actually particularly great quality watercolour paper. I mean, it is, but it's very old watercolour paper and the sizing in it has expired, so it doesn't actually work very well with watercolours anymore. But I thought it'd be really good paper to play around with for the pastels. And it's actually yellowed a little bit as well. It's not quite as white as it once was. So this is some white watercolour paper next to it. You can really see the difference in the colour, hopefully. Anyway, so I'm just going to have a, round, have a little bit of a play with them and they are very soft because like I said, I just placed them on the paper on their sides to take a photo and they've already started um, smearing onto the page. So this should be fun and probably going to get messy. I probably should have um, grabbed some wipes, um, but anyway, <laughs> I'll sort that out later if I need it. Okay, so I'm going to start by swatching them all at the top here and seeing what the colours look like because, like I said, I've never used these. So here we go. And actually having a slightly yellow paper is probably isn't the worst thing, especially with a white pastel. So I started with the test set that I bought. So we start with white, then the yellow lake, followed by permanent intense red, then ultramarine blue, before moving on to the medium green and finally black. Then underneath I'm swatching the other colours I got, starting with Naples yellow, then pink, coral, olive green and finally with turquoise blue. And I'm smudging out the edge of that turquoise blue to see how it blends. Alright, so I <laughs> haven't fully thought this through about how I'm going to do this or what I'm even going to play around with. But I have a variety of different papers here to play around with. So I think we're going to see how it works with watercolours. Because like I said, watercolour is my main medium and what I work with. I have one of my palettes here. This is a mix of different brands um, in, in this particular palette. I have some water. I just have a cheap synthetic paintbrush. Um, just in case I don't want to damage my more expensive ones by going over the oil paint oil pastel with them. And I have some water, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so here you can see that I'm just making a few scribbles on the page with the oil pastels in sort of like a loose florally shape. I then picked up one of the blending stumps to see how it would look if I blended some of the lines. Um, I will be honest, this wasn't my favourite uh, result. Um, I just didn't like the way it felt to uh, paint over the oil pastel on the paper. Um, it kind of felt like it was gumming up the paintbrush a little bit, which is why I chose an inexpensive one to use for this little experiment. And I just overall wasn't happy with how it was looking or how it was playing together in this way. So then I decided uh, to try and put some oil pastel on top of the wet paint. And I really like how you saw there with the yellow and the leaf, how it was repelling that um, paint away, which was really fun. So I then went ahead and started painting this loose flower next to the other one and then whilst the paint was still wet went in with the oil pastels to kind of resist some of this um some of that wet paint and i really really enjoyed how that worked a lot better um and sitting here i'm painting some leaves um and i'll pop in some pastel there as well i'm sorry i didn't realize the painting was a little bit off the screen at the bottom there but i do adjust it in a second and yeah a lot more happier with this result as well Okay, so I actually quite like how this one turned out compared to this one. This one turned into a bit of a mess. So from what I've gleaned from this little exercise here is that I much prefer it when I do the watercolor first and then put the wax past the, the wax, the oil pastel on top and that repels the water around it, which is quite a cool effect. Um, and you can see it really a lot clearer here in, in the leaves as well. I'll do a little close up afterwards. Um, didn't like it as much by putting it down first. It made it a bit, it felt weird painting over the, 
the oil pastel and it's kind of gunked up my paintbrush a little bit it's okay i can clean that later that's not an issue and that's why i used an inexpensive paintbrush for this exercise so because i'm still learning and figuring it out um so yeah i really quite like how this turned out so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to rejig my setup a little bit and um we'll paint some more florals because i really enjoy painting florals and we'll see what we can come up with um another thing that i enjoy using a lot um as i mentioned in the um haul video the unboxing that i did is are the um, new color ones by karen dash so i use these in a very similar way as i'm planning on using these in that as i was trying to do here is i put down the pastels first and then i paint over it and it acts as a resist these ones um are wax based so they are uh, wax oil based so they're not as creamy or as sticky as these oil pastels are so um these are great to put down first and these are, seem to be really good for putting down on top afterwards okay so rejig my setup a little bit and um because <laughs> i'm probably going to get a couple of questions about this because i know it's a slightly odd way of doing it even though i'm a right-handed painter um, or just right-handed in general, I tend to prefer having my paint on the left side of me rather than on the right side because I have a tendency to just shove my elbow into wet paint. <laughs> and this way, I don't do that. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm just going to do some scribbles. Hey, voiceover me again. Hello. So we're going to start with some little scribbly lines with the uh, Karen Dash Neo Color ones. Nothing super precise there. Put a little little scribbles down with some of the colors and then did some loose wobbly petal shapes with the white. Now I'm just mixing up some colors. I think for this first one it was mainly like a quinacridone rose sort of color mixed with whatever I had in my palette there before. Um, and I'm just doing some loose florally shapes, nothing too precise, keeping it as abstract as I can. And then going in with the oil pastels into the wet paint to create that sort of resist. And then I put a bit of quinacridone gold in the middle of that first flower, um, which I really like the way it spreads into wet paint as well. And then we moved on to the second flower there, and I think that is mostly based in, um, I think it was a quinacridone violet was the base colour for that. And um, both of these, uh, the, pem the quinacridone rose and the quinacridone violet were both M. Graham colours for anyone who's interested, as well as the quinacridone gold. <laughs> and then that last colour there is, um, that last flower there, the colours for that were mainly um, dioxazine violet from Sennelier mixed with the quinacridone violet from the M. Graham, M. Graham paint as well. And then a bit more quin gold in the middle. And I really like how these worked with the oil pastels, creating, like, resisting some of that paint in the wet areas. And then moving on to painting the leaves. You might have noticed I did a few splatters there. I really love um, putting splatters into my paintings. They're just really fun and add to that sort of loose abstract feel of a piece. Um, now, I'm not the most experienced or uh, most experienced painter in general. I've only been painting for about a year now. But um, I do think there's value in sharing about learning processes and I, I love to share my learning process. So that's what I'm hoping to do with this channel. And yeah, so not everything is going to be perfect. Not everything is going to look amazing. But I believe in sharing the progress and sharing the journey. And that's what I hope to do on this channel. So if you are interested in that and you um, would like to join me on my journey as I learn and experiment and hopefully progress with my watercolour journey then please feel free to like this video and subscribe so you get notified when I do upload more videos because I have lots more coming. Alright so I think that's going to be it for today thank you so much I really enjoyed this painting it was a lot of fun to do a little bit messy my hands are a bit um, covered in um, oil pastel but it was a lot of fun to play around and experiment with them today um, I don't normally paint this big so that was also quite fun um, I have this ginormous size 16 um, Neptune uh, Princeton Neptune round brush which I really love but I don't normally paint this big so I rarely need a brush this size um, so it was really fun to get to play with that today and yeah just I love painting loose abstract florals I love a good splatter so it's kind of 
combines everything together for me. I'll have some close up shots and stuff at the end for you guys. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. It was a lot of fun painting these. And yeah, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up, the like button, subscribe for more content, more videos coming soon, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, is this something that you've ever thought about combining with watercolors before or not? Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the beginning of this video or not, but I was heavily inspired by Irit of, uh, from Irit Landgraf from her, her channel. And she's recently started playing around with um, pastels and stuff with her paintings and it's just a really fun idea and I really liked the concept and wanted to give it a go so here we are um, but I will give her all the credit for the idea to be quite honest because I would never have thought of this on my own joining me today highly enjoyed playing around with these and um and yeah so i'll be back soon thank you so much for joining me today take care bye